In this video, we'll be discussing the very, very important questions of data structures and applications subject. So, after conducting a comprehensive analysis of the question, pa question patterns from, from the past three years of question papers and referring to the latest previous year question paper, I have uh, noted down module-wise compilation of very important questions. So, here it is. So, now let's look into the previous year question paper first. So in the first module, they have uh, asked about, first module is basically about uh, arrays and structures along with the unions also. So the first question is about linear arrays and representation of it. Then we have uh, the memory allocations difference between static and dynamic, which is very important. And then we have a C program uh, for the following array operations. This is very easy and it is a part of lab program. So looking at the other part, here they have asked about the abstract data types of arrays. Okay, fine. They have asked to declare and initialize how it's done, yes. And then they have asked what are self-referential structures. This is a very easy topic. Then we have sparse matrix representation and function to transpose a given sparse matrix. Okay, so this is all about first module. Looking at the important questions, important topics. The first one is what is data structures, classifications and operations, yes. Then we have difference between static and dynamic memory allocation, yes. Then we have arrays, so different operations related to arrays, creation and deletion of arrays and what are 1D and 2D arrays. Then we have structures versus unions, structure types. Then we have finding location in 2D array, that is row major order and column major order, yes. This is also very easy topic to fetch marks. Then we have sparse matrix and transpose of a matrix, which is again very simple. Then we have, uh, this might be, a, uh, they might ask us to write a function or an entire program of uh, performing the, uh, of performing the polynomial operations using uh, arrays and structures. So coming to the second module now. So in the second module, it's about uh, stacks and queues. So stacks and queues. So the first topic, here they have asked this, define stack, how to represent stack, which is very easy. Then we have a stack program, yes, this is a part of our lab program, right? so it is, you can easily write it down. Disadvantages of ordinary queue, yes, this is also an easy question. Then we have, what is recursion, recursive function to solve a Tower of Hanoi program, yes, this is also very easy. Then discuss the following, what are double-ended queues, priority queues, these are the type of queues. Then we have, uh, we need to write an algorithm to convert infix to postfix. Along with that, um, do this, solve this. Yes, yes, this is about the second module. Now let's look at the questions, uh, the topics. Stacks, and in stacks, what are stacks? Uh, the three major operations performed, push, pop, and display, yes. Then we have infix to prefix or prefix to postfix conversions, which is very important in this module. And then we have postfix evaluation. In fix to postfix, this conversion and evaluation is a must question in every question paper. Then we have recursion topic under which we have Euclid's algorithm that is finding GCD or Tower of Hanoi and Ackermann's function. So out of these three, any one could be asked uh, to write the function or a numerical would be given and we need to solve it. Then we have queues. So types of queues and the basic operations, yeah, that's good to go with the second module. Now we have the third module that's all about the linked list topic. So the first one is to concatenate two single linked lists. Yes, this is a very easy topic. Then we have structure definition for single linked list. C function needs to be written, yes. Then uh, how to read a polynomial consisting of n terms implemented using linked list, yes. This is also a very important question. Then we have a function to delete a node whose information field is specifically specified in single linked list. Okay. Then what is double linked list and uh, perform operations? Then we have implementation of uh, single link uh, implementation of stacks and queues using linked list. Okay. Looking at the important topics here, we have difference between arrays and linked list, which might be a three or four mark question. Then we have a uh, single linked list, double linked list, and all the operations related to this. 
that is insert at front, delete at front, insert at rear, delete at rear, then displaying length, concatenate, reverse of single link list, double link list, circular single link list, circular double link list. Then we have a sparse matrix using link list and polynomial addition using link list. Okay, so third module is very easy if you understand the concept of link list. So you can easily fetch marks in this module. Next in the fourth module, we have about trees, a binary trees. Yeah, we have, a, we have about trees. So coming at the fourth module, what is defined binary tree properties, very easy. Then we have operations of binary search tree, yes. Then they have, they have asked what is threaded binary tree, yes. This is also very simple. How binary tree are represented using array and link this, this is a very easy question to fetch six marks. Then in order, post order, pre order, traversals, yes. This is a must question. Then a C function to evaluate an expression using expression. This is also very easy. Looking at the important topics, here we have what are the definition of trees, basic terminologies. Then we have representation using linked list and arrays. That is uh, left child, right child, sibling. Left child, right sibling. Then we have what is binary tree, its types, and then traversals. Under traversals, we have in order, pre order, post order. Then we have binary search tree under which uh, the three operations are search, insert and delete which needs, uh, th there might be programs asked on this topic. Then we have threaded binary tree under that they have in order threaded binary tree, post order, pre order threaded binary tree. So a question would be given and you need to represent the data in threaded binary tree form. So looking at the fifth module, the last module, uh, here we have the question about graphs. So you need to uh, define, design a C program for the following operations of on graphs. So and then we have AVL tree here and we need to write a function to insert uh, insertion into an AVL tree. Then we have what is hashing here, two criteria CS. Yes. Then we have RB tree, red black tree. Looking at the important topics, fifth module is a bit uh, difficult I would say, but then if you understand the topics, it is, you can do it easily. First topic is about graphs. So terminologies and uh, representation, adjacency representation using matrix and link list. Then we have breadth first search and depth first search. Yes, this is a must question. Then we have what is hashing, hash table organization, hash functions, starting and dynamic hashing and what is collision. Then we have AVL tree, red black tree and B tree. So these are all the important topics to be covered for uh, data structures and algorithms subject. So here I we have looked into all the important, all the previous year questions. So here I have the, all the previous year questions of three, four years, past three, four years. So do comment, uh, do let me know in the comments if you require this PDF. I'll, I'll, I'm ready to share all the three PDFs in the uh, video so do let me know and if you have any doubts please uh, do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you